4G. Awesome to be a part of something so dynamic. I've been around the church for a very long time, but never in my ministry years have I ever been asked to participate in something as as wonderful as I, I, I thought this was. When Pastor first brought it to the church, I was like, all right, I trust you. I've seen enough, you know, in this church to say, okay, if he thinks it's a good idea, it's a good idea. Um, and he's, and, and like he, it, he's prayed about it. Yeah, you know yeah. That he's, he's, he's prayed sought about counsel, it and, he's prayed, and, he's, you know, yeah. they did their due diligence with it. And I just think that, you know, you gotta trust, you gotta have faith in God. At the end of the day, it's not just people, you really can't trust people, but you gotta trust that God is moving in this church and that people are following his leadership. Your pastor says, don't just go off the top of your head, Pray about it. As an individual, as a family, pray about it. You know, at the beginning, we had this, those cards and stuff, and so I calculated out, you know, a amount that I wanted to give, and I broke it down, you know, the math per, per month. Um, but I don't know, it was just, it just, we prayed about it. My parents were part of it as well. Um, I just, uh, I don't know, it was a little easier because I was also living at home. We're married, you know, I didn't have as many expenses, so I'm like, yeah, I can afford a little extra on top of this, you know, this is for God, you know, whatever. And then getting married, something like that, added a little pressure. It was a little nerve wracking um, in trying to determine, you know, we don't want to start something that we don't complete. Yeah. And I would say as well, there was some trying times within um, those two years. Of course, unexpected things that you didn't expect pop up, and the first thing come to your mind is, um, we can use that extra money that we put here. And you know, the devil's always putting stuff in your way, yeah. making it seem like, oh, it's really tight, let's wait till the end of the month and then maybe pay it if we have it, but that's yeah. not the way that God wants us to do it. And so um, I believe with us keeping that commitment, um, it really, really helped us spiritually and um, it helped me to grow a lot um, in my walk and to start tithing myself. And I think it was such, it was just a blessing to um, see my husband, who was already doing that before we even got married, and see his commitment to the church and to God. This has been an awesome experience. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Uh, we are so blessed again to be a part of this and to uh, pass it on to our kids. I think we are, um, my husband takes the sermon from Sunday and passes it to our kids, which are in different states. So this was just one more thing we can pass on to them. And they actually got it. You know, sometimes your kids don't listen, but they got it. They understand that you have to sacrifice to get what you really want in life. And what you really want is to be a child of God. It was a good feeling knowing that, like, I pay to play a little part on that, on that thermometer. All you have to do is take the first step and let God take the second, third, to the hundredth step. Um, that's our thing. Just, just trust God and it'll be okay. I would like to take a moment to thank you for your participation and faithfulness in our 4G campaign. It is hard to contain my excitement about how we have been able to make major steps in reducing our overall mortgage debt over the past two years. What I'm most thrilled with is witnessing the level of generosity and spiritual growth which has occurred within our church family in just two years. It is because of this new spiritual maturity that Family Community Church's next generation will be able to continue advancing this ministry here in Fresno and abroad. When I think about how far the Lord has brought us, it is truly a miracle. Over 22 years ago, two families helped launch this ministry, and since then, many more have caught the vision. Souls have been saved, there's been numerous baptisms, many families have been made whole. We have had weddings and unfortunately numerous funerals. We currently have eight churches in Kenya, and the list goes on and on. This is the same church 
the Lord blessed at 18 months old with the purchase of a little over 20 acres of land at a cost of just over $1 million. And then he allowed us to build our first worship building and then expand it with our educational wing. And now, according to our tax assessor and recent bank appraisal, our property is appraised at $11 million. This church has and is being blessed. What does this mean? We're not waiting on God to bless us in order to build his sanctuary on the corner of Chestnut and Knees. No, no, no. God is waiting on us to grow to the point of need of a larger sanctuary. The equity for the new sanctuary is already there, waiting on us. Wow. Now, generationally speaking, my heart was filled with immense joy while watching our church's 2017 high school graduation ceremony. I remember speaking with many of the parents before those young people were even born. I was even more honored to marry some of their parents, to see them graduating and how they have spiritually matured into beautiful Christian adults. All of that just flooded my heart with uncontrollable emotions, realizing our vision will continue through them. Family Community Church, we need to know today that we are leaving a rich legacy. And when I think about that, I'm reminded of Habakkuk chapter two, where it states, write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold the proud, his soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Family Community Church, if we remain resolute and faithful to the journey and the challenges the Lord has set before us, we will see our vision come to pass. It is sheer joy serving with you in God's kingdom. Thank you for that privilege and may God bless you.